Hello, welcome to today's video. We are on page 48 of Keyboard Musicianship Book 1. We're going to start with number 5 here, our German piece. And we appear to be in with our third finger there on B and our third finger way down here on B here. So we have quite a distance from both hands. Nevertheless, we should still play accurately. Let's go over the rhythm. This is in 3-4 time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Left hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. Both together. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Back to the right hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then together. One, two, three. It appears that is a G chord at the end. Please write in the name or the chord symbol above that G chord there at the end of your piece. Now go ahead and pause the video now. Take time to write in some fingerings here and there of every measure. Make sure that you know your fingerings and your note name. Let's go ahead now and use those fingerings we've just written in. And we are going to say the note names as we play. Sure, that this video is centered. All right, let's go ahead and place our hands G position. Saying the note names. One, two, three. B, B, A, G. Two, three, lift. B, B, A, G. Two, three. Both hands together. B, C, D, D. C, B, C. B, A, B. C, C. B, A, B. And then B, B, C. D, two, three, B, B, A, G, with your G chord there at the end. Very good. So that is what we have with our note names. Please remember to play legato whenever you have a slur. Okay, let's go over this piece one more time, listening very carefully to the contrast of our dynamics. The first system is the mezzo forte. Next is forte, and then we go back to mezzo forte. At the end, we have a decrescendo to piano. Here we go. Moderately slow. One, two, three. And there you have it. Please practice that one very carefully. Use your metronome, 60 beats per minute. Let's now go on to number six. Now, number six here, it says it requires rapid shifts in both hands. It says here, use the measure of rest to prepare for the new position. So let's go ahead, first of all, talk about our rhythms. Okay, here we go. One, two three, four. One, two, 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 three, four. Together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, some of the notes here are staccato, and some of them are just regular non legato. So we need to remember to play the difference in those articulations. Let's go ahead and talk about the hand positions. The first hand position is here, the left hand. Finger number five is on C, therefore it is C position. And for the right hand, finger number three is on E, makes it also C position. Then, measure number three, our hand, finger number five, comes up to F, bringing us to F position. And then, of course, finger number three comes up to A, bringing us also up to F position. 
couple of measures after that, we go up to G position for the left hand, and the same thing for the right hand, and we stay at that position for the remainder of the piece. The last two notes should have five and one, respectively, for G, and the last C is two for the left hand and four for the right hand. Based on all of these hand positions, let's go ahead and pause the video now and write in our fingerings. We're actually going to take a step to review the finger numbers and play at the same time. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take that step now. We're going to play and say the finger numbers, and then we're going to talk about changing our hand positions. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, five, three, two, one. Rest. And then we change hand positions. Now remember, it says to change hand positions between your rests, which means for the first measure, you're playing rests, and then during that whole measure of rest, you can bring your hand up here. However, it's going to clash with the right hand thumbs. So just kind of keep your thumb out of the way, but once you play this one, then you can bring it on up. Okay? Let's go on to the measure number three. Five, four, three, rest. Three, two, one, rest. Now let's move up another space to the G position. Measure number five. Five, four, three, rest. Three, two, one, rest. Now here's the part where we play both hands at the same time, still in G position. Let's go through the numbers. Or through the, the, the spaces. And then we end on C there with two and four. Let's go ahead now and review that again, this time note names. One, two, three, four. C, D, E, rest. E, D, C, rest. C, F, G, A, A, G, F, G, A, B, B, A, G, G, A, B, G, C, two, rest, rest. Okay, so those are the note names. Let's now go ahead and play through it one more time. We have two dynamics here. Listen carefully for how we treat the staccato and the non legato within the same measure. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Please remember to play the difference in your dynamics and your articulations, and we will see you at next lesson.